let the transformation be a linear transformation from P2 to R2. Is T onto is T one to one. Reviewing the properties of onto transformations and one to one transformations, we will focus on the property that if the transformation matrix has a pivot in every row, the transformation is onto, and if the transformation matrix has a pivot in every column, the transformation is one to one. Let's first test for onto. To be onto, every vector in the codomain or R2 has at least one corresponding input, degree two polynomial. To test for this, let's let the vector PQ be in the codomain, and again, if the transformation is onto, there must be at least one A, B, and C, such that T of A plus BX plus C squared equals the vector PQ. And now looking back at the given transformation, we now know that 5A plus 3B minus C must equal P, and 20A plus 11B minus 2C must equal Q, which gives us the following system. From here, if we write the corresponding matrix equation, the coefficient matrix is the transformation matrix. So if we write this in reduced row echelon form, as shown to the right, we can see there is a pivot in every row indicating the transformation is onto. Again, this indicates every vector in the codomain of R2 has at least one corresponding input degree two polynomial. So we answer yes for onto, and now let's check for one to one. To be one to one, every vector in the codomain has at most one corresponding input degree two polynomial. Setting this up in a similar way, again, let the vector PQ be in the codomain, but now for the transformation to be one to one, there must be at most one A, B, and C, such that the transformation is equal to the vector PQ. So this results in the same system of equations, as well as the same matrix equation, and the same transformation matrix written in reduced row echelon form. But I do want to pause here just for a moment because we're checking to see if there's a pivot in every column, if the transformation matrix is a two by three matrix, meaning the number of columns is more than the number of rows, then there's no way the transformation can be one to one. And looking at our work does verify this. Notice how we have pivots in column one and column two, but not column three, which indicates the transformation is not one to one. This should also make sense because if we don't have a pivot in column three, then C is going to be a free variable indicating there will be an infinite number of solutions. And to be one to one, every vector in the codomain can have at most one, meaning zero or one, corresponding input degree two polynomials, meaning the system can have either zero or one solution. I hope you found this helpful.